So the multi-level page table still looks at the virtual address in terms of page offset and page number, but instead of using the entire page number to access one huge table, it partitions the page number into the so-called inner page number and the outer page number. The outer page number tells us which part of the large page table we would be using. The inner part tells us which specific entry in that large page table we would be using. Instead of having the large page table, the outer page number is now used to index into the outer page table, and each entry in the outer page table tells us where to find the so-called inner page table. Once we find the inner page table, we take the inner page number and use it to index into the inner page table, and what we find there is the actual frame number to access. Another entry in the outer page table will point to a different inner page table, so pretty much what we have is the outer page number tells us which of the small inner page tables to use, and the inner page number tells us where in each of the page tables we need to look at. So it seems like this is just a more complicated way to access the page table, but still, for every possible page number, we will have a frame number in one of the inner page tables. The total size of the inner page tables will be the size of the original flat page table, and we still have added the outer page table, which we didn't have before. So pretty much, we still have the same number of entries total here, and we have added something. So where are the savings?